Hi guys, girls, non-binds, welcome back to my channel. I am Leah Solmaz. <laughs> so I've noticed on a couple of my review videos that people have left comments whether or not to accept certain brands and things like that. They've been approached by these brands to uh, promote their products. I thought I'd do a video on how to spot a Instagram scam. Can I say that 10 times? <laughs> Not even going to attempt it. Here are some tips, some things that I've learned, and um, so hopefully they'll help you lovely uh, guys, girls, non binds. So, tip number one on how to spot an Instagram scam DM, because this is where a lot of these scam companies reach out to people, is through their DMs, direct messaging. A no name introduction so they start the i've had a couple where they've started like hi honey or like hi we love your page but there's no like actual uh relatable connection to you within the message so it's just kind of like a copy pasted message that yeah more than likely they've um, paid bots to send these email dms out yeah, if a company approaches you through your DMs, um, usually it will go into your uh, requested messages, I believe. So yeah, unless you, you're like me where you've got OCD and you have to check every notification that you get on your phone, hey, <laughs> yeah, that's usually where they live if they're not addressing you properly on their message. Tip number two, if they start off the message with, we're looking for a brand ambassador, that is usually a big like flashing warning to say, uh, scam. So yeah, brand ambassadors back in the day, as far as I remember, <laughs> like back in my day, yeah, brand ambassadors used to work for a company that bought like a small franchise part of it, similar to Avon, where a person could buy um, a certain amount of products and sell them at a small percentage of profit. By doing that, they became brand ambassadors. So yeah, if a message starts off with, uh, we're looking for brand ambassadors, I try and avoid that and not respond. So tip number three, sometimes you do get real people DMing you and saying that they've kind of seen your page or whatever else. They're looking to give you three or four free items at a limited time, kind of FOMO. Stuff. but then they'll catch you out by saying oh but we expect you to pay for the shipping costs fair enough like some companies might do that and they might be legit but for me that just screams alarm bells like if you're looking to promote your business so in my experience I've dealt with a company um, T Post where they paid for shipping and sent me a free t-shirt to promote so if a company really wants influencers to get behind their brand, they tend to cover the cost of shipping as well as the cost of the goods. Um, so that person, the influencer or whoever, won't be paying anything. So that is like alarm bell number three. So if they say they're going to send you free gifts, um, but you cover the shipping cost, um, then avoid because that's kind of where they're making their money and you've got no guarantee that they're going to ship any items even if you paid so yeah tip number four and hopefully this is what everyone does um when a company reaches out to you whether they're well known or not um is to check reviews so google reviews is a great resource to um check reviews on a company as well as going online through instagram through other social media platforms you can search on youtube as well as um, a lot of people do review videos <laughs> uh, I'm trying not to do review videos, but it just so happens that's kind of what's been presented to me. So yeah, that's what I'm going with. So yeah, check reviews. Um, if there are more bad reviews than good reviews, then yeah, that's kind of a big warning sign to stay away from that company. I have actually bought products from companies that have like mixed reviews. So some good, some bad, but primarily if there are more bad reviews than good, I tend to not buy that product. That goes for Amazon, like I've spent a ton on Amazon at the minute. But lastly and importantly, trust your gut. Um, if you are nervous about buying a product or if you just feel like something's not right and you are kind of incessantly checking reviews and reaching out to people to see what 
their opinion is on a company, then just don't go with it, you know? Trust your gut. I like to buy things that I like. Yeah, um, trust your gut at the end of the day, you know? If you don't like something and if someone's kind of pestering you to buy something, um, yeah, just avoid. You, you don't have to give any money away. Um, so yeah, that, that would go into my bonus tip which is hard sales are different to bullying. Now I've had a couple of um, these so-called reps on Instagram try, like really pushly try to um, sell me something and thankfully I've got the tact and information to kind of realize that they're just trying to get money out of me and you know, there's no guarantee that I'll get anything in return. So I've done sales and things in, in the past and like I know the difference between a hard sale. A hard sale is basically explaining how amazing a product is and how it benefits a person. Whereas these tactics that some of these um, reps tend to use are basic bullying. So like, why would you buy this? Like, yeah, it's just the language that people use. And if they start to become aggressive, then by all means just block report if you can that's it i think if you found that helpful in any way shape or form do subscribe guys girls non binds if you've got any questions do drop them down below in the comment section or feel free to um dm me on instagram i know a couple of you have done that and uh, yeah i'm happy to help if i can so i have finally moved um home <laughs> I finally moved from my bed today as well, so that's something. So now that I've moved, um, hopefully I can get back into the routine of posting the video at some point. Stay classy, stay awesome, be kind, and bye. Um, there's a considerable echo in this little pool. I thought it would kind of not echo, but that's kind of... Yeah, that's really doing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've forgotten how to do this. So, um, I've <laughs> so I've noticed on a cup of a cup of <laughs> oh wow Leah wow how to spot a Instagram and Instagram bad grammar <laughs> oh my god my eye is just twitching like mad by small oh my eye <laughs> I think I'm blind. I am blind, I'm staring right at a ring light, so yeah. <laughs> Too warm, <laughs> like the gates of hell have opened up. Hello. So yeah, a lot of these companies just couldn't do. Jesus, the blip reels by me.